And welcome to Our Views Will Kill You, the pop culture podcast that likes to react to everything that you're reacting to. We're going to give you a first shot here at the new Amazon original Invincible, uh, brought to you by Robert Kirkman based off of his graphic novel of the same name. Uh, I think that's from Image Comics. I'm the man you may know as Z, and we are joined by Scott and the Noob Noob Pillow, who've been making sweet, sweet love this whole time, and Noob Noob at the bottom, who's apparently should just be called Nap Nap. And uh, if you like what you see with us here, please. Please give us a subscribe. We would really appreciate that. Also, like, share. Sharing is caring. Sharing is what brings this world together. And uh, sharing allows us to bring you more fantastic content. And roll the tape, Scott. Son, kids your age think they're invincible. And it holds them back. Makes them careless. You hear it? I do. Were you nervous? A little. Is this Superman? Sort of. I can do this. You need something to punch. This is the beginning of a long journey for you, son. Thing is, you're oh, fuck. What, what, what? Actually, are. So that's the female Hulk. He didn't say invincible. So he basically just stole every other superhero and named it invincible and put his name on it. But he didn't say invincible, so we're going to do it for him. Invincible. Invincible. Yes, Robert Kirkman. Uh, this has been around for a long time. The graphic novel has been around for a long time. I think it's been over 10 years. It does have a fantastic cast, including Stephen Yun, J.K. Simmons, Sandra O, oh, Mark Hamill, Seth Rogen, Jillian Jacobs, Zazie Beetz, Walter Goggins, one of your favorites. So, I mean, he's got an all-star studded cast. I am going to give it a chance because I've heard nothing but good things about the graphic novels. The Walking Dead from a graphic novel perspective is awesome. And as a comic book, not so much the series anymore, but I think it started off really good. You say it's been so, around for a while, but I don't know anything about this. I've never heard of Invincible. I don't know anything about this. He does look like he explodes a dude's head. So it's, it is very violent. So it's going to be shockingly violent. So versus the, what you were prepared for. Is so what, what you're saying say. that trailer then didn't show how violent it's actually going to be. <laughs> Correct, because I believe that the graphic novel has actually been out since 2002, or at least it started. The first appearance was in 2002, and it got its own title in 2003. And like I said, it was Image Comics or Skybound Entertainment. Yeah, this is a oldie. I don't know if it won an Eisner, but I, I'm pretty sure it's... I've got, got it from high recommendations that it's good. I'll check it out. I have, I have no expectations. I think it might be cool. I think it's going to subvert expectations and a lot of people are going to die if it's anything like The Walking Dead. Looks like The Boys, but an animated form. I don't think it's got the same structure as that, but sure. It's uh, superheroes and violent. It's the only similarity that it has with The Boys is that it's about a superhero and it's about violence. It's basically if, um, what's his name, if Homelander wasn't the bad guy, I guess that's what this is. If we're still around in 2021, because God knows there's still enough of 2020 left, everything could change. We might not actually see it, but if we're all still here, I think I'll watch it as well and i even have even less expectations because i don't know anything about this show i mean it's animated so yeah let's, let's check it out see what it is yeah. i don't know i'll watch yeah all right then we're all in push them chips all in well from all of us here our reviews will kill you to all of y'all at home we love y'all and on to the next one